So I came on this mission um, in May last year, and it was an opportunity to uh, serve my community. I mean, I've seen all the fires and gone to gone out of county and responded locally. I've had a chance to, uh, you know, see firsthand what our work does, saving all the forests and saving people's homes. It makes me feel really proud. I am one of the reasons why I enlisted in the first place was after the campfire and the car fire, I realized that there was a lot more that I could be doing for my community. And so I enlisted and then while I was in the recruiting process, I heard about this mission. And so even through basic training, it was a goal of mine to come on mission. And now that I've been here for a year, it's been very satisfying and, um, and worthwhile. We have had fires my whole life ever since I've been here. And being on this mission allows me to actually help the people um, instead of being one of those people that just sits there and can't really do anything about it. So I get to actually save houses and help save lives and actually make a difference in this community. Uh, we definitely know each other very well. Um, we're with each other sometimes 24 hours a day to kind of mitigate the um, damage that could be done if fires do come through. What we do here, we do initial attack on fires where we cut hotline. Um, our goal is to protect uh, people's properties and lives and do good for the community. And it feels really good um, knowing, knowing frontline, like what we see directly impact, impacts uh, the community. Um, when we're saving people's lives, protecting their homes, um, it's, it's such a great feeling knowing that you're making a difference. It, it brings a sense of accomplishment knowing that you're protecting uh, this, this state and the country that we love.